we begin our first lecture to understand what is life. Bio means life and logi means study. Hence, biology is a science that studies life. What is life? Biologists explain life with its properties. All groups of living organisms share several key characteristics or functions. Order, sensitivity or response to stimuli, reproduction, adaptation, growth and development, regulation, homeostasis, and energy processing. Let's explore the term starting from order and move clockwise. Let's start with order. Organisms are highly organized structures that consist of one or more cells. Even simple single cell organisms such as amoeba and multicellular organisms such as earthworm are quite complex. Next, what is growth and development? Organisms grow and develop according to specific instructions coded by their genes, such as the growth from a baby to adulthood. Metabolism. All organisms use a source of energy for their metabolic activities. Some organisms capture energy from the sun and convert it into chemical energy in food. Others use chemical energy from molecules they take in. We will discuss this in more details in our sections on cellular reactions. Homeostasis. To function properly, Cells require appropriate conditions such as proper temperature, pH, and concentration of diverse chemicals. These conditions vary and organisms need to learn how to adapt to environmental changes. Regulation. Even the smallest organism, organisms are complex. Regulation. Even the smallest organisms are complex and require multiple regulatory mechanisms to coordinate internal functions, such as the transport of nutrients, response to stimuli, and coping with environmental stress. Adaptation. All organisms exhibit a fit to their environment. Examples. Heat resistance plants. Plants with uh, birds with beaks modified to match the flower it feeds from. Reproduction. Single cell organisms reproduce by first duplicating their DNA, which is the genetic material, and then dividing it equally as the cell prepares to divide to form two new cells. Lastly, organisms respond to diverse stimuli. See the animation hyperlink here showing mimosa pandica leaves, which will fold when touched. Even tiny bacteria can move forward or away from chemical processes, called as chemotaxis or phototaxis. Movement toward the stimulus is considered a positive response, while movement away from a stimulus is considered a negative response. Living things are highly organized and structured, following a hierarchy on a scale from small to large. Atom is the smallest and most fundamental unit of matter. A molecule is a chemical structure consisting of at least two atoms held together by a chemical bond. Many molecules that are biologically important are macromolecules 
or aggregates of macromolecules surrounded by membranes form organelles, structures that exist within cells and perform specialized functions. All living things are made up of cells. The cell itself is the smallest fundamental unit of structure and function in living organisms. In most multicellular organisms, cells combine to, take, to, to make tissues, which are a group of similar cells carrying out the same function. Organisms are collections of tissues grouped together based on a common function. Organs are present not only in animals, but also in plants. An organ system is a higher level of organization that consists of functionally related organs. For example, vertebrate animals have many organ systems, such as a circulatory system that transports blood throughout the body to and from the lungs. It includes organs such as the heart and blood vessels. Organisms are individual living entities. For example, each tree in a forest is an organism. All the individuals of a species or organisms living within a specific area are collectively called a population. A community is the set of populations inhabiting a particular area. For instance, all of the trees, flowers, insects, and other populations in a forest form the forest community. The forest itself is an ecosystem, consists of all the living things in a particular area together. The total sum of all ecosystems make a biosphere. Now read this slide and think about the correct choice. I hope you got the answer right and that is In the 18th century, a scientist named Carl Linnaeus first proposed organizing the known species of organisms into a hierarchical taxonomy. In this system, species that are most similar to each other are put together within a grouping known as a genus. Furthermore, similar genera, that is a plural of genus, are put together within a family. This grouping continues until all organisms are collected together into groups at the highest level. The current taxonomic system now has eight levels in its hierarchy, from lowest to highest. They are species, genus, family, order, class, phylum, kingdom, and domain. Thus, species are grouped within a genera, and genera are grouped within families, families are grouped within orders, and so on. You can see from the slide the relationship between dog and a wolf all the way up to the phylum level. To sum it up, a level usually includes more species than the level below it, and fewer species than the one above it. Levels are from least inclusive to most inclusive. Since the 1900s, 
scientists recognize all organisms are organized in three main domains the eukarya the archaea and the bacteria the image shown here is a phylogenetic tree as you can see it composed of branch points nodes and branches The internal nodes represent ancestors and are points in evolution when based on scientific evidence. An ancestor is thought to have diverged to form two new The length of each branch can be considered as estimates of relative time. Here is another question that I will give you time to read and think of the choices. I hope you selected the right choice. I am a homo sapien. Now let's look at the three domains that were introduced earlier. The archaea are single cell organisms without nuclei and include many extremophiles that live in harsh environments like hot spring. The bacteria are quite another different group of single cell organisms without the nuclei. Both the archaea and the bacteria are prokaryotes, an informal name for cells without nuclei. The domain eukarya contains organisms that have cells with nuclei. It includes the kingdoms of fungi, plants, animals, and several kingdoms of protists. Here are a list of branches of biology. You may want to explore a few on the list for further information. Now, I want to quickly go over the process of how scientists apply hypotheses-based science and deductive reasoning as a way of logical thinking that uses a general principle or law to forecast specific results. Hypotheses and theories must be testable and repeatable. Not, it is not science. Science is a way of looking at the natural world. Here we see the water cycle. Think about what you can predict from the image shown in the, showing the cloud, rain, and the sun. How are they all linked together? Think critically. It helps to minimize bias in judgments. Scientists focuses on testable ideas about observable aspects of nature. To conclude, five key factors of critical thinking are observation, evaluation, reasoning, decision making, and problem solving. is a tentative answer to a well-framed question. A scientific hypothesis leads to predictions that can be tested by observations or experimentation. Here is an example of why floors are dirty.
An online assignment will be asked to provide examples of hypotheses. Here, the flashlight not working walks through the steps that are needed. What are experiments? They are tests used to support or falsify a prediction. They require variable characteristic that is measured with changes in condition. Experiments always require a comparison with the control group in which variables do not change. Biological systems have many variables. Hence, experiments simplify observations of nature as they focus on cause, effect, or function of one variable at a time. Researchers design experiments to minimize potential bias in interpreting results. Of this is in your first lab. Coat lab. Here are names of few important scientific theory. There is an online assignment that covers this section.